He's Baltimore City's first elected African American mayor who has seen Charm City at its best and during some of its worst times. Former Baltimore Mayor Kurt Schmoke is a well respected and really a historical figure in the political landscape of the city. He's dealt with some of the same challenges that Baltimore's new mayor will face 300 plus homicides, turf wars, blight, poverty, and the fight to improve public education, just to name a few. I asked Mayor Schmoke, who is now the president of the University of Baltimore, what he thinks the new mayor will need to do to restore faith of city residents. The one thing about politics, as a friend of mine once said, and it's actually true, that 24 hours is a lifetime in politics. And we know what the issues are today, but come April, um, they could be very different. Uh, we don't know what the impact of six, poli six trials, what that will do. We don't know whether there's going to be a snowstorm, uh, and that, uh, all kinds of things uh, can occur that will affect the uh, the electorate. But the bottom line is that uh, uh, safety issues are, are key. They cut across race, they cut across a class. So uh, somebody, the next mayor, is going to have to give people a, a sense of how they're going to address the safety issues. Um, the what we call grime. I mean, the environmental things are important. And also, I do think that people are going to be looking for some new direction on public education. It's tougher now because the mayor doesn't have as much control over the schools, or the mayor and city council don't have as much control uh, as they did the back in the, um, in the 20th century, as my students say, back in the last century. Uh, uh, but that's an important uh, issue uh, for all the citizens. Clearly the business community wants to know whether our school system is going to be able to produce uh, uh, students uh, who are going to be good employees in the future. I think the city's field is interesting. You have a young person like Elizabeth Embry who's right. sort of been involved but mostly um, in the attorney's office, state's attorney's office. Then you have like Nick, Nick Mosby, a younger guy. Yep. You also have Sheila Dixon who's been around before and even held the job or Carl Stokes who's run before. Yeah. What do you make of this, this no, makeup right I, now? I think that, that it's great that we have so many people uh, who are interested. And uh, I do believe, someone asked me um, whether I thought this was going to be a racially charged uh, election. I don't think so. I really think this election is going to be about ideas. It's going to be about who can give the electorate a vision about a better Baltimore and how we can get over some of the uh, problems that we've had uh, in the in the past, and who whoever is able to articulate that and organize people around that idea, I think is going to be the winner. Do you think there's an element of forgiveness for Ms. Dixon, who's leading right yeah, now? I do. I do. I th I've I've heard uh, uh, Mayor Dixon speak on, on a number of uh, occasions, and I've watched audience reactions, and I really do think that uh, she's going to present herself as someone who's learned from uh, uh, past mistakes, uh, who wants to um, uh, show that uh, uh, she has a lot of experience and talents um, that people can believe in, um, and are uh, asking in some way um, not only for forgiveness but for a, a second chance to show her talents. The reaction that I've seen in the, the small groups that I've seen her in has been, you know, pretty positive. Uh, so, uh, but there I know, and I think she knows that there will be others who are going to say, "Look, you had your chance. Let's move on, move in a different direction." Let's just say you ran for mayor, and your yeah. job one, if you came in office in a, another uh, campaign, and you're the winner, what would job one be for you in City Hall? Do you think? Wow. I, I, th I think a, a job one is uh, would be to convey to the community that if we're going to be a better city, we all have to be partners in it. It's not there's the mayor's not Messiah. The 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 mayor doesn't have a magic wand, but the mayor can uh, articulate an agenda, a vision that if people work together with him or her, agree to work in partnership, we can make this a great city. And so I think um, uh, if uh, the first day it's uh, the new mayor's got to thank folks, 
but say let's you know uh, let's work together on this. Let's be partners in progress. You got faith in the city, I can tell. Oh, I do. I I, I love the city. I you know we've got uh, tough problems, but um, I've just seen so many people in the business community, in the foundation uh, community, uh, people that I've um, young people that I've worked with and some of these student organizations, they're all excited about uh, uh, Baltimore. When I saw uh, Under Armour uh, decide to, to build here in the city and not, you know, outside, I said, somebody understands the strengths of this place and uh, recognizes that the best days are still ahead. And, uh, you know, I, I believe that we'll, we'll get past some of these tough times right now, but uh, this is a very, very important mayor's uh, election. The, the city does need uh, good, strong, and visionary leadership. And to see more of what former Mayor Schmoke had to say about this mayoral race and the city really as a whole, just head over to our website. It's WBALTV.com and click on politics, and it'll be all there right in front of you.